Welcome, welcome, everybody. We have the true pleasure in our double Amuna Tuesday class to have Rav Judah Klein. Judah Klein is in the house. Say hello on our Facebook Live. He's already <laughs> saying hello on Instagram Live. He's already gone. And amazing, amazing, amazing. Ben Epstein is here. Dr. Ben Epstein is hitting us up on the live feed, <laughs> telling us how much he loves Judah Klein and the fact that he's with us today. And we appreciate his warmth and support as well as all of yours. So special people out there, keep sharing the love. Mm. This is our 87th Amuna class. Hashem has set it up perfectly. The Judah joined us today mm. and we were looking through pictures and what did we come across? The king, Hamalach. Mm. Except Judah was dressed up, Purim, as the king. Wow. And that's the big Hamalach, as we know from, from Purim time. It's also our, 80, our 87th class, you said? Yeah. That's the, the, the numerical value of Paz. Paz. It's like a crown. The, the Paz. King. And it's also gold as gold, well. Gold, right. It's a golden crown. Like yeah. uh, Brok Sharma, we say it's 87 words. That's We're right. purifying That's right. That's right. ourselves through Pazuka de Zimra, the prayer service, wow. on, on the Shachra service. And we getting to that level of purity that prepares us perfectly for the melech, the crowning mm. of the king. This is the true royalty that we're going to discuss today <laughs> on our double Amuna Tuesday classes, both with Judah Klein, our special guest, and our follow-up class, myself in my home. That will be going live around 3.30 Israel time. You can check it out on all our platforms. Thank God we uh, have the audio going and everything else is functioning in our wonderful studio. We don't take it for granted, but you can thank the guy over there in the other room for building it with his bare hands. He's there and he'll be hopefully joining many other people in Oman if that's the blessing this year. For many, we'll get into that in the class. One of the other things we're going to discuss is how unbelievable this last year has been. We're getting to the climax of Tough Pei base and hopefully now entering into Chai Elul and the 12 days leading up oh, to Rosh Hashanah will be in the right mindset to begin the new year and Judah's going to help us with that. Hopefully, we also remind everyone we have all the wonderful books here. I'll be giving a whole bundle to Judah if he doesn't mind bearing that burden or that schut. Remember, we got meeting with the king very appropriately, came out recently, perfect for this class. And I'll be going ahead with a new light today, as well as the concepts of Hamelech. And we'll be pushing out there the unbelievable, updated, official Amuna Tour 2022 with Ooh. Rav Sholom Orish himself. We'll be touring the U.S. Unfortunately, we can't reach all the places we used to go to, like Miami and in the past, even Mexico City and Texas and L.A. All the people that have reached out, someone in Arizona just messaged me this morning. He will be in New York the time of day. He's very excited by the divine flow that he'll be there, that Hashkacha Pratis, divine providence, that he'll be there that week that we're in New York. Other people are going to be coming special and going out their way to also, come. Just, yeah. Is that, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, of double amuna, you mentioned double amuna. Today's a double amuna. Yeah, double amuna, amuna Tuesday. So it's the same thing with this amuna tour. Is that you hire Varush, you 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 have him come to your shul, and he's he is the the light of amuna in our in our generation. There's no doubt. He's pumps. He pumps you with amuna, which gives you relaxation and yishvadas. But also, if you're if you're if you're going to bring a Varush to your to your kahila, you also get to speak to a valley. And Ravelli is oh, oh. One, of the, one of the sources of my Amuna also. I get to speak to Ravelli every day. <laughs> so that's also double Amuna. He gets to see me at my lowest it's point. Big, it's a big schos. Shacharis, Mim Kamarev. Tain Kavod. <laughs> yeah, he has the honor to see my Han Huggers in Tefila, which definitely need a lot of work on these days. Amuna tour. But with all that humility, the bottom line is we appreciate the praise and we're going to do the Amuna tour. So thank you, Judah Klein, for sharing that. Remember, we will be in Brooklyn the 4th till the 7th and be in in Montsi from the 7th till the 14th. We have the honor of doing a huge event with Gedalia Fence in Carnegie Hall. That is actually being confirmed. The exact date still to be announced. And uh, we're hoping to have special guests like Nissan Black. I'm trying to squeeze in uh, Moshe Rubin. You never know. He's a new artist who just got on the H.com website and other places recently. And he'll be around. You'll see his name more and more. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're trying to squeeze in a few music artists just to make it a more uplifting musical event as well as obviously the Rav and Gedalia doing an amazing op uh, speaking opportunity. Plus, there'll be other events to be announced with Chazak and other organizations that we work with in the past. The main focus of the tour is the Rav's well-being. As you know, he's 
is not here in our classes, so that's because he's not 100% healthy, but he will be in person in New York, and that's why it's the opportune time to make meetings and meet with him, get blessings. This is like a different Bechina than being here in the Holy Land, different aspect that here is like everyone wants to see him. We're there, it's much more secluded, we're in Monsi, we have our own space, and you can come and meet with him, and we have specific set-aside times. It's much easier for direct contact with the Rav for all our English-speaking friends. That includes the Spanish, Espanol. We've had Spanish people fly in. We had from Guatemala flew in last time to meet with the Rav. We've had people from Mexico fly in. Um, people from all over were, were so keen to come and even though we had to sort of break our teeth translating Spanish they were still so happy just to sit in the presence of the Rav <laughs> and they, it just shows you how there are people out there who just love the Rav so much and we can all learn from that Ahavas um, the Amunas Chachomim the love for a sage so there is a Bechina of, of a Melech with the sages like Mordechai Sadik and we learn that from our holy books but we're going to go now into our feedback and then we're going to hear from our guest, Judah Klein, who he is, and a little bit of question and answer Q&A, as we always do on our Muna class. Remember, this is 87. It's a big accomplishment, and he's helping us keep the engine moving as joining us from our neighborhood in Yushalayim. Thank you. So thank you, Hashem. Yeah, one point we always do before we go ahead, we always give a big dedication to our guest. So a big blessing as well to Judah Klein and to his family, as well as a full shleimer to Sholem Ben Yemna, to Hila Rivka Bas Masha, Chana Bas Frida, Chana Libe Bas Simcha, anybody other names you can have in mind. We're dedicated to this class for their full shleimer. And also to the Elevation Soul, this Sunday is Gedalia Fenster Sun, uh, first yacht site, Yerachmel Daniel Ben Gedalia. We dedicate Daniel Yerachmel Ben Gedalia. I saw different orders of the name, but either way, we appreciate dedication to our Muna class, to the Rav's teaching. Wish everyone a good week. Chai Elo, Chies, mm. new energy is coming down. A CM to Elo days, healthy, energized, tuba filled days. Amuna, and remember the tagline sharing Amuna Global. That is our purpose of the tour as it says here join us in the climax of sharing Amuna Global together as I said this might be Rav Orish's last tour to the US so make the most of it okay great let's go into feedback thank you Hashem Shalom Rav Tadarabah for sharing your excellent videos yes that's what we do over here yes the world would benefit so much from all us tuning in to the language of the soul Thank you for spreading these ideas, Rabbi Goldsmith. Appreciate that. Um, I don't really know I'm a rabbi. I'm Ellie Goldsmith, but thank you for the honor. Shalom, Rav. Tadara Rabbah for your video. Rav Klempner, vibrational healing. Worth sharing again. Yes, Joe Rogan and Russell Brand would be proud of this discussion. That's true. That was last <laughs> week's class. We had Avi Abelo in the house, and he did an excellent job discussing some very important updates with what's been going on globally, as well as on, on all types of different... Uh, you know, everyday issues that people are going through and it's worth checking out that class again. We haven't got the edited version, I apologize, but the YouTube, Facebook um, uh, live version is up as well as the Instagram and audio, which is pretty good quality, thank God. Shalom Rabbi for Sydney, Australia. You are awesome, thank you Rabbi. I love saying my Shema twice a day. We spoke about Shema last Mm -hmm. week in a a new light, the prayer focus. It looks like you are in the sea. Yes, we had a funny background. This week is just black and white. Shalom to your guest. Shalom Rabbi Gols from Sydney. That was a mikvah. That was was my kavana. It's great to thank you. Elul's a mikvah. I love the backdrop of the blue sky with white clouds on the water. I hope Rabbi Oish gets better soon. Obviously, they'll miss him being here. Believing in Hashem is everything in my life. Mm. Someone else wrote, a guy called Matthew Ariel, relationship with the creator through the all-important Nessie mediator. So that was based on Rudy Rochman's clip when he came. That's gone around a lot. Baruch Hashem. Shalom Rabbi Rav, Ro, uh, Rav Chochem. Shalom Orish. We love you. A true Sadiq. And we share the f- official fly already of the Munatur 2022. A Muna Rosh Hashanah video. Yes, that's coming up. That was last year's video. Nothing like saying Tikkun Akali. Someone wrote today on the video. Mm. And during his Bodhidus, Rabbi Nachman in the path to Noah Hashem in a personal way, he was a great Sadiq. And uh, Aish, you know, Lee, he's, his fire burns on. I'm adding that in myself, that last part. Our guests are such great energy. Let's go to our guests now. And the quest, first question is at the bottom here, Muna, Ro, sorry, Uman Rosh Hashanah updates. So do you have any Uman Rosh Hashanah? That's the first question everyone wants to know. Wow. Um, I'm not so tapped into uh, the news. Actually, um, the last Rosh Hashanah, yeah. I uh, took a Kabbalah to be less involved in the news and to try and keep a clear head. Uh, you know, the news, uh, a friend of mine once told me, the news never reports when a plane lands. Yeah. And the, new, the news loves to report on, on 
negativity and brokenness, something I'm trying to avoid as much as I possibly can. Amazing. So the only real update that I have is with myself. Um, and I'll share a little bit of, of where I'm at with it. Um, is that... Well, can you give some context? Sorry, I should have asked you again. Please. Who are you, Judah Klein? Oh.